Today is Thursday, September 27th, 2018. It's 8.03 and I'm calling Elaine Stoutenberg from Lapeer DHHS. Hi, you've reached Elaine at Department of Health and Human Services. If you're calling to report allegations of abuse or neglect to children or adults, you must call centralized intake at 855-444-3911. Otherwise, leave me a message knowing I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Please keep in mind, I work Tuesday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Again, I will call you back as soon as I possibly can if you just leave me a message. Thank you and have a great day. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, Ms. Stoutenberg. This is Richard Schwartz in Almont. Today is Thursday, September 27th, 2018. It's 8.05 a.m. I need to speak with you personally. This is very important. Um, I will have this phone available most of the day. My number is 810-882-1941. If, if I don't pick up, just leave a message and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. This is very important. Please call back and um, it's, I need to speak with you today. Thank you. Bye now. Today is Thursday, September 27th, 2018. It's 8.26 a.m. I'm calling the Almont Police. Village of Elmont, Elmont Police Department. Hi, I'm trying to reach uh, Officer Leo Hagar. Um, not sure if he's here. Your name? Uh, Richard Schwartz. Richard Schwartz. Let me check. Thank you. Okay, let me try to transfer you. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Hold, please. I'm trying to get all the extensions. Hold, okay, please. Thank you. Mm hmm. Hold on, sir. Okay.
Okay. Leo Hager, may I help you? Oh, hi, Leo. This is uh, Rick Schwartz. How are you? Hey. Good morning, Rick. How are you doing today? Um, the same, Leo. Nothing's changed except uh, it's getting worse. Nothing's happening. That's why I sent you a uh, National Adult Maltreatment Reporting System and uh, file, <clears throat> and it states that, that uh, I have to report my start my uh, report with the local police. That's why I sent you that file. And also, it contained the um, vulnerable adult. Wait a minute. Um, vulnerable adult protocol, which is... Um, it's two different two different files. Did you did you see them? Did you get them? I, I haven't uh, opened up my email here yet. Okay, cause... but I'm going to. I just went through some old reports I had to work on, but I'll oh. I'll be getting to my email shortly. Okay. So you sent me an email. Yeah. I, okay. I'll too... take a look at that. Did you CC anyone else on that, Rick? By chance? There's no one, Leo. Um, I uh, you told me to call Elaine Stoutenberg. Elaine Stoutenberg told me to call Dave Dyer. He's the head of APS. I talked to him yeah. for an hour and a half arguing with him because he didn't know anything about it. Told me to call the proper channels, which which everybody says called you know, you gotta talk to the proper channels. And, and right. it started out with the number that I called originally to file a complaint and okay. he's saying to just keep calling that number. Now you don't understand. I am starving. I have no food. I have no running water. I also, uh, if you don't want to take that report, I need to file a, a report for uh, animal cruelty. Okay. All right. What, let's let's start with the first item. I'll look at my email when I hang up with you. Because yeah, this and is I'll all, look at what you sent. This is all. This is all. This is what the what the state the state is supposed to do. They're not investigating anything. They're, they're supposed to be investigating to see what's going on, and I filed a I filed a, a complaint, and they're supposed to do something within 72 hours, and that was a, a week and a half ago. Um, you guys all know that I have no way of getting food. You, um, uh, no one has contacted me from the um, the uh, health department to tell me anything about their their meals on wheels they're just letting me die and i it, it's it, it's apparent i i just uh, there's nothing more i can do i'm i'm weak i i uh i weigh 149 pounds i i've uh you have to you have to read exactly i went through all of th this is all legal documentation and i've i've highlighted what they're supposed to be doing and they're not doing and and okay. i can't i i can't this is torture leo i i can't make it any clearer i i, I i'm weak i i i have no well, let me ask you this rick and i'm sorry to hear you're in the situation you are but let me ask you this do you understand that we do not have the ability, the means, or the authority to allocate funds for you. That is something that falls under no, Adult no. Protective Services. I know. What I, police no, I'm not asking you for anything. I'm I'm asking you to to enforce the law, and that's okay. that's that's all I'm asking you to do. And another okay. thing that that that's not being addressed is, and this is uh, this is I uh, I've had to. I've had to address this all myself because I'm not getting any legal help or I'm getting resistance. The prosecutor, I don't even know if the prosecutor even ever looked at my case, but he blew it out the door without and said, uh, no case, there's no crime, sorry. And uh, and I asked, well, what, I don't, I don't agree with that. What do I do now? They wouldn't tell me, so I, I found out that I have to try to appeal it in circuit court, try to get information on that. The woman hung up on me. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, if I if the, if the district if the the Lapeer prosecutor blew it out out without even looking at it, what good is a circuit 
court who was in the same building they're going to treat me the same way i i have to believe that because they you you you're a witness leo that the uh um Steve Atkinson of Adult Protective Services lied to you, and um, the state police uh, are witnesses. Um, the, his name is Patrolman Math or Patrolman Matthew. Uh, what is it, Loudon or something like that? Layman. He uh, DHHS lied to them in May and told them that they fixed my roof and my and my water heater, and he closed the case. They they, uh, they lied to DHHS, and in the meantime, I've got nothing done. I'm dying, and no one will will do anything about it. And um, I'm not asking you to do anything other than enforce the law, because I, they're supposed to be on it, on this within 72 hours. Nobody's done anything, I, and I I'm I'm dying. And if if nothing else. Which, which apparently it doesn't matter if I die, but I want to file an animal cruelty report because I have no way of getting cat food. My cat's dying too. Okay. Well, maybe that's something we can help you with. Okay. Uh, what type of cat food do you need? I need I need a way of getting cat food. How about if we pick some up and no, drop it off? No. What I need is I need you to read. I need you to read everything that that uh, that I sent you. I need the ability. Okay, I need. The, I need the ability to be able to do this because you're not doing it. Nothing is happening. And do you know what, well, Leo? You have to understand. I'm being put to death. I have no way of doing this, and you can't. Keep let me it. ask you this: Are you still receiving monthly compensation from the state? Of oh, for for what? I don't know under what category it would be, but are you receiving any type of income from the state or the feds? I, I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's going on because no you don't know if you're receiving any money from the state or the federal government for monthly what? for what I, I get 15, I don't know they, I'm just no, asking. They, they give supposedly they're giving me fifteen dollars a month for food stamps but um, I told them to take that fifteen dollars a month and apply it towards the Freedom of Information Act files that I requested in December that they refused to supply me so I could defend myself against a a, a criminal government okay. but I can't do so, it Rick, that's uh, the you thing don't I don't have any income from the state or the feds uh, coming in what do you mean the feds the federal government I don't know social no, no. security I've uh, got I've got social security and they okay. and they messed with that and they messed with that too Okay, so that's, at least you have some money coming in there. That's I, the point I'm trying to make. No, how am I supposed to get? I, I have no way of getting anything, sir. Okay, I'm. Oh. I'm. I have no transportation. I have no way of of getting toilet paper. How am I supposed to get toilet paper? How am I supposed to get that on a weekly basis? That's okay. the thing. The thing that that you you have to do is you have to you have to look at the paperwork that I sent you. And okay. I highlighted what what I'm not getting, and then you have to take it back to the people that are supposed to be doing that because you told me to contact Elaine Stoutenberg. I I, yes. I called her for three days. She uh, she finally left a message that I got to contact the head of D, of Adult Protective Services, Dave okay. Dyer. I contacted okay. him. He said, "What do you want? I don't know what you're talking about." I said, I thought you were investigating my case. He said, I don't know who you are. And we, I argued with him for an hour and a half. And okay. he told me that I should call the, eight, the, the the hotline that I called a week before. And there's nothing okay. happening. Now, the, how much longer can this happen? I'm caught in a loop. That I'm, I'm caught in between floors in an elevator of a, of a public building. I'm screaming for help, and no one. And everybody says it's not my job. It's not my job. I can't survive, and you couldn't either. You tell me. You tell me how am I supposed to get food? Okay, maybe accept an offer from someone. Well, like like who, Meals like on Wheels. I would call them again. Get back on their list. No, you don't understand what I said. Uh, um, why don't? Why won't they give me what I asked? They they were providing me unsanitary food. I said I said deliver. Uh, give me a letter stating that you fixed your machine, and they refused. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going through a program that's gonna poison me. 
you what you're doing is I've tried everything possible to survive and everybody's giving me all the reasons why they can't help me and in the meantime I have no way of getting food and okay and that's, so that's you don't want food from Meals on Wheels unless no. they give you a letter verifying that the food, the food is free of bacteria and germs. No, I want them to say that they fixed that they fixed the machine that they that was broken. Okay. They do you understand that that they I asked that in April. Do you understand how many months that's been? They just ignored me. Do well, you, Rick, maybe I would uh, call them again. I'm not perhaps ca- the do, no, I can't. Do, can can I tell you something? I, I every. Sure. I, Every, every the government is 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 breaking down at, at every, every level, and I call and I call and call, and it's, everybody says it's not my job, it's nothing I can do. And in the meantime, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not saying there's nothing we can do. We offered to bring water and toilet paper no, to your house, but you said no. No, what? Do you have to read? You have to read what what it says that. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll I have. To, I have. Hang up with what you. you're doing is you're saying that you can do this, and you're going to do it just like like Adult Protective Services. They went and brought me water. The the Adult Protective Services guy in last 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 when I was out without water when the when that water heater failed the first time. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Do you understand that a water heater doesn't fail within within? A, they installed it in in January, and I found it leaking in June. It doesn't happen like that if it was done correctly. It, and I I called and and uh, they left. Me, they they refused to help me f- get it on for two and a half months. And in the meantime, the adult protective services guy, when when he c- came over, he would bring me. A, a few gallons of water. He brought me nine gallons of water to last me two and a half months. But he was just doing it like you're going to do it. He's, he's going to help me out once in a while. I need to. I need water. I need the availability to get water. Now here's another thing that I can't get addressed. And this and no one can. No one. No one will address this because it's going to cost them money. This the um, they DHHS supplied a water heater. Correct. That's what you stated. Yes. Okay. They um, they chose a provider. The provider was the plumber. I am the customer, or whatever the mm-hmm. term is. Right. They're just yeah. they're just the go between. Right. Okay. So they're, what they what they did is they 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 sent in bums that did a job incorrectly. I was I knew it was it was being done right right from the start, all wrong. Because I had plumbers telling me it was being done all wrong, and that company was going out of business, and they 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 uh, do shoddy work, and um, they. Well, Rick, let me let me stop there just for a second. I'm familiar with that story. I know you've explained you, you to know, me before. No, you're not familiar but with I, it. You're not familiar with this. I fired them before the work was ever done. Okay. And uh, I told them. Uh, that when they came to do the installation, they were going to try to do it without doing it correctly, and I said, I said, no, unless you're going to do it exactly the way these other guys are doing it, um, you're, you're out of here. And so the, I threw them out, and and I and I said, I said, unless you agree to do it the way the other people do it, you tell uh, DHHS to get someone else, and they they came back a little while later they said okay we'll fix it and um they were they were supposed to they were supposed to do it exactly the way the other guys did it and what they did is instead they they all they did is put a piece of board down and uh uh hooked it up and when i started complaining they walked out and said bye so i fired mm-hmm. them that is in the property mm-hmm. that's not well okay that, that, again, that's something that the police department has no jurisdiction I, I know, or authority what I, over. What I'm saying, we don't control any. Uh, what of I'm that. saying is, I'm being, I, I'm being, I'm being led down a pipe. They, they stole money from me, and I can't get, I can't get my issues resolved. They ruined my house that they're responsible for. I can't live in this house. I can't. I've got to get out. Let me ask you this: If I, if I'm homeless today, where are you going to take me? 
Uh, well, it, it all depends. I don't know where the closest homeless shelter is or if you'd qualify. Well, uh, have you brought any of these issues up with the Kingsbrook management at the trailer park there? About what? About your the problems you're having with your house? Leo, my, the problem that I'm having with my house is DHHS hired criminals to install a okay. water heater incorrectly that, that leaked twice within the warranty okay. period, and they abandoned me. Now, and unfortunately, there's nothing, Rick, that we can do with that. I'm sorry. I, I know. Um, we what, we what can I, make temporary accommodations so you have water and food, but you don't want that from us. And you don't even want I want uh, my house on wheels I want, coming back no, to your house. I, I, you're not listening to me, Leo. I didn't say that. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Okay. I well, want, you said I that want, you want, I want some letter. type of contingency I want a, from I want yeah, a, a letter. Okay. It doesn't work that way, Rick. Well, I mean, I'm you not going to decide I, what's more important, the letter or the food. I need that's to, what it comes no, down to. I need the ability. That's, I can't even eat that food. I, I need the ability to eat my kind of food. Yeah. Okay, but you want specific food. They, no, I don't think they I, no, uh, I need prepare to, I individual. Need to, there we go again. Why don't you do this? I'm trying to re report adult maltreatment. Okay, let me read the letter that you sent the email. I have no, way, at I have no way of getting food. And the, and you do you understand? Well, you do, but you, you choose not to take advantage you, of it. Do you understand how, the, how that works? They don't give you seven days worth of food. They don't give you three meals a day. They give you additional uh, that additional food that that is supposed to complement what 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 you get on your own. I have no okay. way of well, getting let me ask food you this. on Can my own. Can you use the money that you get monthly from Social Security to buy food? How am I going to? Where am I going to get it? How am I supposed to shop for it? I have no. How way. are you supposed to shop? How for am it? I Do you have someone that can give you a ride, or no, maybe no, Uber I don't. or Lyft? No, I don't. Okay. I have no way of getting it. And do you understand that you people coming to my house with police cars showing up at my house? All the people, okay. all the people that have helped me in my neighborhood have turned me off, and I'm completely okay. out of it. I have no way of well, getting I'm, toilet paper. I have no way of getting anything. They ruined okay. my house, and I'm and I'm homeless now. Okay. And let me let me uh, read your report. Okay, I'm so not. I'm, better I'm not. I am not letting go with this. I'm not letting go. They destroyed my house, and I I have I have concrete proof. And all they're doing is okay. ignoring me. And I and uh, if they're doing that, sir, what you have to understand is if they're doing that to me, they're doing it to other people too. And, that, and this is, I have this no is, knowledge of this that, is right. murder. This is murder. Okay. You tell me well, how I'm supposed to live. Will you tell me okay. if you were me? What was it? Okay. What would you do? If it were, okay, since you asked the question, uh, here's what I would do. I would use the money that I get monthly to fix my to house. buy food. Okay, how am, I, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to get? To, how am I supposed to get to it? How am I supposed to shop? Okay, uh, maybe a neighbor or call Uber or whomever. There is you don't. There is no Uber out here. Okay. How and, about and, Imlay and, City Taxi? Uh, do you know how much Imlay City Taxi costs? No, I don't. I haven't used them. Yeah. See, that's the problem. I've checked everything out. I've done everything. That's why I'm calling you. I've done. Why do okay, you, but do Rick, you, you have to understand also, we do not have control or jurisdiction or authority over DHS. Okay. And I'm sorry, but that's those are just the facts. Okay. I can't call them up and order them to do anything. They're a totally separate department from us. Okay. Do you understand that that uh, you have to read, you have to read the maltreatment. Okay, I'll read it. But yeah. do you understand what I'm trying to say? The point I'm trying to make. I'm telling you that yeah. I'm telling you that you're what you're what you're witnessing one corrupt government one de department of corrupt government murdering me, and you're ignoring it. And you and you yeah. you're you're I'm saying, not ignoring it. I'm talking to you every okay. time you call. Then why I don't talk you, to you. Well, then why don't you call them and find out why I have called okay. Elaine and talked to her. Okay. That's all. Okay. I got the information I passed on to you 3 okay. weeks ago. Right. And you, and I told you what they did to me. They've done nothing. Okay. And I and I, and you have to understand that that Steve Atkinson, the guy that bailed, that lied to you, I've been, since he abandoned me he when I contacted him in November to say that their water heater leaked again, 
he never responded to me. Okay. He abandoned Rick, me. let me do this. Let me interrupt you here, okay? Because we're not making any headway. I need let a, me read that letter that you sent. I need an adult protective you. services guy over here. We're, I've been asking for I adult. am not adult protective I'm not, services. I'm, That's I'm not, not correct. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying I've been asking for adult protective services since okay. November. Okay, and you've called Elaine. No, since And you November. should probably call that I, 1-800 number again uh, that uh, Dave gave you last week. I've called. Do you understand? I'm in a loop. They keep. I've, I'm calling round and round, and you, and what you're okay. doing is you're, All right. you're saying that that I have to just keep doing this until I die. I'm saying it does no, not I'm work. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it does not that, work. I'm saying it okay. does not work. Now, what what am? It's like it's like I'm calling a nine one nine one. What do you want me to do for you, Rick? What I'm, do you want? What do you want the Elmont Police Department to do for you? Let me ask you I that. I want you to. I want you to. Find out why the system doesn't work. That's the problem. I, th- I can't help you with that. I can't find out why the system doesn't work. Why can't you call Dave Dyer? Because you already talked to Dave I, Dyer. And Dave he Dyer told you what you had to do. Dave Dyer said he didn't know anything about it. She told me to call him. That that he. Okay. Again, I have no control of DHS. They're a totally they're, separate entity. Do you, do, you, do you understand that? Let me ask you that. Do you understand? That they are not connected with us. Okay, so in other we word, have no control over them. So in other words, if That's they if they, agency. if they came to my house and they uh, and they shot me, then uh, there was nothing you could do because they're a state agency. Now that's that's not a fair analogy. It Come is on, a ser- it is a fair analogy. No. They're murdering. No, what, no, it's not. How can you say that? I have no way of surviving. They're murdering me, and you're saying there's you nothing. do have a way, but what, you choose what? not to take advantage of it. I don't understand what you keep saying that you're saying the food that the Meals on Wheels, it, which only supplies a, a a portion of the of the meals. I, that's true, and then I would use the money that you get monthly to buy food. And how am I supposed to shop? You'll have to ask a neighbor no, I, or I've done that. I've, I keep telling you, I, I've i done that, and it doesn't work. I have no okay. way of doing it. I have okay. to have the ability. You read, I have to be. All right, let me read this letter and get back to you, all right? No, I've got to go now. No, here, here's the situation. Nothing has changed. How am I? What do you want the police okay. department to do all for right, you? Bring me some toilet paper, cat food, and some water. You need cat food yeah. and water? Yeah, cat food, okay. f- food and water. What kind of food does your cat uh, like? Anything. Just leave it on the okay. front door. I'm not, okay, I'm, all uh, right. And I need water and I need food for myself. Okay. So you're going to bring all me right. some food? I need vegetables. Well, I'm going to get, I'm I get a hold of the vineyard. Hold need, on a minute. I'm going to get a hold of the vineyard church here that has a pantry program. I, I need vegetarian. I need strictly vegetables. Veg- you can't be picky, Rick, when it it's comes to free pic- food. It's not picky, sir. It's my diet. Okay. I don't know if they just have vegetarian well, I just, food. That's what I need. I need a way okay. of getting food. You, I need, you have to read. Okay. You have to read. All right. Let me read that. Rick, I've got to go now. Let me read uh, what you sent me, and then I'll get back to either, you. Either that or find out, um, find out where you're going to have to take me because I'm homeless. I I, have, no, I, I, no, I need to know how to do that. I have no way of getting call around. Call that intake I'll, number for DHS. I've first, called, I've called that. That's the, the 800 number. That's the emergency number that no one answers yeah. and no one responds to. So what good is that? You're, I'm telling you. Try calling that number again. I'm telling you it doesn't work. you got a system that doesn't work, and, and you're telling me to keep calling it. It's like I'm, t- yeah. I'm calling you to tell you that the 911 number doesn't work, and you say keep calling it. Keep no, calling 911 it. does work. Well, I'm telling you that that number doesn't work. I've called it. You uh, think I'm lying to you? What's the difference? No, that's a I'm critical, not saying that's that. That's a critical care number. That's the only number. That's the number that I I know, call. and I'm telling you uh-huh. it's the same thing as if I. If nine one one, let me read the work. Rick. Hold, let me stop you. Right I have there. no I way of getting food, first. water. I have no way of getting. I have no. I have no running water. I have no food, and I have no way of getting medical attention. I can't say it any clearer. How much? Okay. How many? How many more months? Then call that emergency. I've called the, number again. I've called the number. Now what? Now what? What do I do when that number doesn't work? Call you back. They haven't called me back. They've never called me back. Do you understand okay. that? That was. All right. That was, well, Rick. Look, I'm gonna to have to hang up now. I've got to I, read this letter. You've got a system you that doesn't work, and it's not. And, and I'm caught. I'm, do you understand? I'm caught in between floors of a of of a, of a state. I understand building, and I'm screaming for help. But you understand? Help. There's nothing that we can do. 
No, I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense at all. You, well, you, sure it does. No, it doesn't. You, that that's like saying that's like saying that 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 there's a uh, uh, that, that the police department enforces criminal law. Okay, that's criminal law. I, if, if I'm being if I'm being tortured to death, that's criminal law, isn't it? Rick, I have to go. I, and I'll am I get being? Back with you I'm later. not being tortured. I have to go now. I, is it torture or not, Bye-bye. Leo? Is it torture? Hey, thanks for nothing. Today is Thursday, September 27, 2018. It's 9.17 a.m. And I'm calling the Adult Protective Services intake that I called on September 18th. <clears throat> Welcome to Michigan Centralized Intake, a 24-hour hotline available seven days a week for reports of the suspected abuse, neglect, or exploitation of children and vulnerable adults. If you are calling about a life-threatening emergency, please hang up now and call 911. To fax your 3200 form or police report, send to 616-977-1158. If you are a law enforcement officer, press 3 now. Please note that your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. To continue in English, press 1. Para continuar en If you are a mandated reporter or other reporter of the abuse, neglect, or exploitation of a child or vulnerable adult, please stay on the line and your call will be answered in the order it was received. If you are calling to learn the status of an existing case or if you are calling to contact a caseworker, please hang up now and contact your local department's office. To find the contact information for your local office, please go to the State of Michigan's website for our department. If you have questions about other programs or services, please hang up and call the customer service hotline at 1-855-275-6424. Again, that number is 1-855-275-6424. To repeat these options, press 4. If you are not calling to report abuse or neglect, please hang up now. Heavy call volume requires that this line be used only for its purpose, the protection of children and vulnerable adults many of whom need immediate attention. Thank you for your cooperation with this serious and time-sensitive mission. Yeah, I can tell about that. Please hold while we transfer your call. All of our agents are currently busy. Your position in the queue is... Third. Are you ready for the federal real ID law? Starting October 2020, you won't be able to board domestic flights or enter some federal facilities without a driver's license, state ID card, or another document that complies with the federal real ID law. Get ready now by visiting a Secretary of State office to apply. Learn more at michigan.gov slash real ID. Please continue to hold. An agent will be with you shortly. It was the high point of summer. The car packed to the gills, a folded up roadmap at the ready, surrounded by enough snacks and drinks to last into next month. Well, let's go there again. Take a drive away from our schedules and routines to a sandy beach, a cozy bed and breakfast, or a secluded trailhead. Some place that right now is calling our name at the top of its rustic little voice. It's time to go fishing, to go exploring, to experience firsthand some of Michigan's small town treasures, miles of shoreline, forests, and endless lakes and trails. Let's follow our noses and see where we end up, because adventure is out there, waiting for us at the end of a drive. A drive like we took back in the day. The kind of summer to remember. That's pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan.org. All of our agents are currently busy. Your position in the queue is... First. Provider first for shutoff prevention or payment plans. For other available energy, weatherization, and assistance programs, call 211 or the Michigan Public Service Commission at 800-292-9555.
have a gambling problem, you can pledge to ban yourself for life from the three Detroit commercial casinos. For information, call... Please continue to hold. An agent will be with you shortly. 3-456-4100 to schedule an application appointment. Boating, camping, hiking, and more. When it comes to outdoor fun and recreation in beautiful, natural... Your telephone call may be monitored for quality assurance. Recreation class, fitness event. Centralized intake, this is Elise. Are you calling to report abuse or neglect? Yes, ma'am. Regarding a child or an adult? Uh, it's myself, ma'am. Okay. And um, what is your last name? Uh, Schwartz, S-C-H-W-A-R-T-Z. And first name? Richard. And your date of birth? 11-17-51. And your race? Um, I'm Caucasian. And marital status? Divorced. And a good phone number for you? I don't have a good phone number, ma'am. I'm using someone else's okay. phone. But, um, I... I do you have an address? Yes, ma'am. It's uh, 104 Aberdeen Lane, A-B-E-R-D-E-E-N Lane, Elmont, Michigan, 48003. Okay. And then uh, who do you live with or who lives with you? No one. Okay. Go ahead with the concerns. Um, Ma'am, I called um, nine days ago um, to report. Uh, um, I, I, I'm I'm in jeopardy. I I have no food or water in my house. I'm trapped in my house. I'm I'm disabled, and uh, I filed a report nine days ago. And I haven't heard any anything from anybody. Um, I contacted I contacted my uh, <clears throat> I called uh, DHHS. Um, the lady referred me to a man in, at, uh, from Adult Protective Services, a man called, uh, named Dave Dyer, and he was supposed to be a supervisor. He didn't know anything about my case, and he said that I should, I argued with him for an hour and a half trying to explain my situation. I, I'm, I'm dying. I have no way of surviving. And he just told me to keep calling, keep calling this number because there's nothing he could do for me. Okay, so what is I mean, what is the situation? Why is there? Why do you not have water? Why do you not have food? Well, I do you uh, do you have the claim? Or can you find out what's going on? Because I've already I've, submitted all this information. I've, I mean, this will be a new report. I can't go back to anything that was reported. You'd have to tell me again if you were trying to make a new report. Well, yes, I, I have access to it, but as a new report, I have to ask you again what your concerns are that you're calling about. Okay. Um, under the National Adult Maltreatment Reporting System, there's two there's two issues that I'm uh, that I'm addressing. The um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, I can't think of this. There's uh, there's two. Adult, for, I can't think of the, 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 the National Adult Maltreatment Reporting System. Um, I have no, I have, I have um, neglect of harm to a, an adult's. So I'm not asking you. For, I'm not asking for that. I'm asking. I don't need the criteria. I'm saying, what is going on? Why do you not have food? Why do you not have water? Why are you trapped in your house? What is the situation? I'm disabled. I have no transportation. Uh -huh. um, DHHS uh, supplied a water heater that failed twice and, and uh, destroyed my home. It's leaving me homeless. I can't live in it any longer. Um, I have no way of getting food. And my shelter, my shelter has been destroyed. I'm supposed to. I'm. I'm disabled. I'm supposed to have a state safe and stable living condition, in a situation, this in which an adult is okay. not immediate. So when have when 
My When's the last time that you've uh, eat, eaten food or? Three days ago. I have no way of getting it. And then what has the water here destroyed in the home? Uh, um, all, um, uh, my, all my floors. They, they, mm -hmm. in, they installed a water heater improperly that, that leaked um, twice within six months. Uh, I tried to fire the, the, the contractor before the work was ever done, which makes me... Uh, um, I tried firing this, these people and they, uh, because they, they were, weren't going to install it correctly. And when they came to my house to install it, I told them either install it correctly uh, uh, or tell DHHS that, that I need someone else. And they, they left my house. They came back. They said, okay, we're going to do the job correctly. And they, all they did is they, they, uh, they didn't do it. They all they did is put a board down and uh, installed it, and then walked out. I said, "What about all the other work?" They said, "We're not going to do it." I fired them. I it was not my responsibility. They installed a water heater incorrectly. It, it leaked twice within six months. Destroyed my home. Caused fifteen thousand dollars worth of damage. They uh, I've been without water since since November. I contacted um, my uh, GHHS worker and also my adult protective services worker in November telling him that m the water heater leaked again. I need help. What are you going to do? I haven't heard back from him since. I don't have... I, I uh, Finally, I, I was without water in, until May and I, I, I contacted uh, Consumers uh, Water Repair Service they came out. They tried to see if the water heater would work, and they it shot water all over the the house because the plumbing was all done wrong. And so they said I had to have the water. I had to have the plumbing fixed before they could determine if the water heater was 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 damaged or not. So they said I had to contact a, a, a somebody to fix the, the the plumbing. I contacted a repair guy. He came out. He gave me an estimate uh, uh, to fix it and to fix my house it's fifteen thousand dollars i sent it to dhhs and in may they um they ignored me i um i filed a police report i i with the state police in january i i tried to get my issues resolved with the state police with dhhs in january they um in may the uh dhhs told um, the state police that they fixed my water heater and my and my roof and that I was all set they lied to the state police so the state police closed my criminal my criminal complaint against them I went and uh, I I contacted the I contacted the Elmont police and the Elmont police the adult protective services agent Steve Atkinson lied to uh, the the Elmont police, Leo Hagar, and told them that he had no idea that my that my water was out, and but he's known about it. Uh, he's known about it since since November, and in the meantime, they destroyed my house. I'm not responsible for it because I fired that contractor before he ever did did the work, and DHHS sent him back saying saying that they would fix it okay, so, properly and they so did aside, aside from this water heater issue uh anything else uh, uh, I, you know, so you can't I, get food uh, I, you don't have water you're I, trapped in the house right what um are your disabilities or impairments i i um i have rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis i have uh damaged discs i have uh, diabetes I have ankylosing spondylitis, and I have high blood pressure. Okay, and then what makes you trapped in the house? I have no transportation. I can't get out. I have no way of getting out. I have no place to go. My house is destroyed, ma'am, and it's uninhabitable. I mean, no, but when I hear, I'm just trying to. I'm disabled. Um, I, can't know, I, I can't walk. I can't walk. 
Okay, that's what I was. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. What I was wondering. I'm sorry. Ma'am, I'm still. Um, I'm, stressed, and, uh, I'm stressed out because I I have no. I haven't had access to my doctor for two years. Uh, uh, I I have I have no way of getting food. I have no way of getting things like uh, toilet paper or or uh, toothpaste or anything. I'm I'm supposed to. So, I mean, I have no so, stable, safe, guess, safer prior, stable environment. Prior to prior to three days ago, um, how are you getting these things? I mean, because obviously it's September yeah, now. If the situation with the water not, happened in November, like how not, normally it, were you getting food and toiletries and that kind of thing? Um, I, I've, I've been, uh, I've been getting, I've been, I've been getting neighbors to help me once in a while. And since I started making complaints to try to get my issues resolved and the police are showing up to my house all the time, all of a sudden, none of my neighbors will help me. So I have no way of getting any okay. help whatsoever. Okay. Uh, so let me go over these policy questions here so I can get this submitted. Uh, do you have a guardian or power of attorney? No, ma'am. And then would you be at home right now? I am. And uh, do you have any Native American heritage or live on a reservation? Uh, no, ma'am. And are you a veteran or spouse of a veteran? No. Now, the home that you're in, is it a rented home or your own home? It's a mobile home. Oh, okay. And then, but it's yours? Yes. It's not yes. like a... No, um, it's, okay. it's, it's mine. And then, uh, so you said that you do live alone, um, and the there are no minors in your home, I assume? No. And then uh, the next question is, is there someone responsible for your care? But Will that be you at the moment since you don't have a guardian? No, the, that makes no, the only people that are responsible for my care are uh, DHHS and Adult Protective Services, and they both abandoned me. They're the only people that I have that, that are completely um, responsible for my care. They they've uh, they signed me up for Medicare that I can't use that because I have no transportation. They took they took money okay. they took money they they uh, supplied me Medicare Part D that I can't use, and then they then they. Uh, sent me they said that they sent me a form that I didn't send back in time so they dis they discontinued it then they tried to con continue it again and then then in June of 2017 I had two they 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 they, they had 237 dollars taken out of my June social security check stating that that they gave me in error um Medicare Part D so they took it back, <laughs> and I and I con I contacted Social Security, and they told me that that wasn't legal, and I I filed a report against uh, about that, but I haven't heard back from that either. That was two hundred thirty-seven dollars that I needed to fix my roof. And uh, do you do you have a primary care physician? I I don't have one now, ma'am, because I have no access to my doctors. And, and by no access, you mean like no way to get there? Correct. Okay. And then um, anyone else you would like to list has someone who would have additional information regarding the concerns? Um, like any social supports, family, friends? Uh, Elmont Police, uh, Leo Hagar. He, he's a he's a he's a witness that DHHS or I'm sorry, Adult Protective Services agent Steve Atkinson lied and said said that he didn't know my water was off. They've they've left me to you die. Was, both both D H. You said it was Officer Hagar. Yeah, H A G A R. Yeah, Leo Hagar. H A G A R. Okay, and um, so as far as other agencies being involved, I see law enforcement um, and uh, anyone else. Uh, well, like well, here's here's what it, the, the, in uh, the Michigan State Police, I filed I filed a report with them, and in May, uh, Officer Matthew Lehman, L A I M O N, contacted. 
DHHS Rhonda Lansing and Tanya McCrory who told them told officer Lehman that they that they fixed my my roof and my water heater and that I was okay so he closed he he said that I was fine and he closed the, the my complaint which was a lie so then I went I went and on July 17th I went to the state police and I tried to get my issues resolved and um, they gave me a complaint form they uh, told me that they were gonna they uh, they would submit it to the uh, uh, prosecuting attorney and that it could take up to six months and that there that that I shouldn't contact anybody but then since nothing had happened I I on in August I went to the town hall meeting of my state legislator Gary Howell and I tried to get my issues resolved and um, he called the police on me and had me thrown out of the town hall saying that I had to contact the necessary departments which I I told him I was trying to do and was getting nowhere so mm -hmm. I, okay, I and then um, so any any safety concerns for a worker going to your home weapons vicious pets violent people well I uh, no, there's no concerns the only concerns that I have is I want I want advance okay. notice and I want to have witnesses and I want to be able to video record okay. any meetings that any I have how, with how Pardon? is there some way for someone to contact you how would you get advance notice without a phone uh, email what email ma'am okay, what's your email yeah it's a uh, Rick R-I-C-K S-C-H W-A-R-T-Z 777 at gmail.com. Okay. All right, so I'm going to repeat this here and uh, make sure I have this correct. Uh, so I have, uh, you are disabled, uh, you have no food or water, uh, right. you haven't eaten in three days, and you have no way to get food. Uh, that um, Let's see here. So DHS supplied you a water heater that failed twice within six months, so it's now destroyed your home, destroyed the flooring. Uh, that um, it wasn't installed correctly. Uh, can, that, can, you um, also, can you also make sure that you <laughs> state... I fired that vendor, and DHHS okay. sent them back, stating that they would do it exactly the way I told them to do it, to make it done correctly, <laughs> and they they, okay. they didn't do it. So it's not okay, my so I've added that. Um, it's, it's not my responsibility. Uh, DHHS took it upon themselves to send them back against my against my wishes. I asked them to use anybody okay. but that 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 vendor that vendor what what they did to me is they they installed it incorrectly they were going out of business at the same time that they were installing it they they charged 37 percent more than than uh competitive rates i had three other plumbers saying that the company was a, a, a fraud and they they when they did the work they told me it was done wasn't done to michigan code it was going to fail which it did it yep. failed it failed once it failed twice within six months of its warranty period when i and i didn't want to be responsible for it they were kept uh, dhhs t kept telling me to contact this company i wanted nothing to do with them because i threw them out the first time i and the uh, dhhs ronda lansing and tanya mccrory all, what they did was they tried to uh, negate their responsibility. I didn't want these people in the first place, and they forced them on me. That's okay. not my responsibility. All right, so, I, um, so I have that. Um, so they're resp con they're responsible. They're, res con they're responsible. Okay, for so 15 we're we're okay. Oh, sorry. We've, so um, so in May, you contacted the Consumers Water Repair, who tried to get it fixed, uh, but they said uh, that you needed to get that plumbing uh, done first, which was done wrong. Right. Um, but so total is about fifteen thousand dollars to fix the home. Right. Um, so I've um. You've had you've not had access to the doctors in two years. Uh, you don't have access to get toiletries. Uh, neighbors were helping, but they're no longer helping you. Um, and so, and you said that you feel like you're just sitting there, dying and trapped in the house. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then that you requested that uh, worker email you to set up a time to come. Right. Um, so I also I I <laughs> also uh, I hurt myself. I tripped over a wire. I've got wires all over my house. Um, they never fixed my roof. And um, okay. it, I had I, 
I had wires, uh, I had electrical outlets that went out, and uh, so I have wires all over, and I tripped, um, I, I tripped a week ago on, on wires, and I'm hurt, I, I have, uh, I have back pain, I, I can't really w walk. Okay, all right, so I've added that, um, so I will get this submitted to a supervisor, um, and hopefully you'll be hearing from someone via email. Do you know when when uh, this is going to be, ma'am? Because I'm dying. I can't. You know, I I contacted I contacted uh, your department uh, on the 18th. Uh, so so I get it typed up and sent to a supervisor. The supervisor reads it within the next hour or so. So okay. uh, at that point, it either gets sent over to the county, um, and then it, it'd be the worker at that point that would. I well, can't account for their time frames, but, yeah, but see, on our end, we make a decision within an hour or so. Yeah, but see, here's the problem. They. Uh, I contacted. Right, I, right, I, under, I understand, but that's that's just how it works. So I mean, I guess continue continue to I guess go over your concerns about the process isn't going to help get this one done any faster. Well, just to um, understand so, that understand yeah. if you do put me through to the APS worker, I've already talked to him and he didn't know anything about it, and he said to call that nu this number again. Yep. They, yep. His name is Dave Dyer. Okay. Dave Dyer. Okay, I will get working on this here. Okay, and then uh, um, All right, I'll, I'll hear from somebody soon, Elise. Uh, that, that would not be up to me. I take the complaint. We send it to a supervisor. If it gets assigned to the worker there, I, again, I can't account for what the worker's time is frame it, is, is in which they would contact you, but it would be within three business days they have to make face-to-face -face contact. I've got, I've, got a, I've got a document that, that uh, uh, outlines exactly the... Uh, National Adult Maltreatment Reporting System and the the Adult Protective Services Protocol. Can I send that to somebody that outlines exactly what my issues are? I can email that right away. It would be for the worker. So, like, if if a worker gets assigned, that would be beneficial to them. I, to I, have. I need a worker to be assigned because uh, right. My, so, my but then see, but we're not getting anywhere by going round and round on the phone. Okay, I, just, <laughs> I can't I, get it processed. The longer that we're sitting here, okay. So, just uh, um, I'll call can... I'll call back tomorrow if I don't hear from somebody because I'm dying. I can't. This is I'm I'm being caught in a in a loop. I mean, if you feel like you're dying, then that would be. Like a medical issue that you would probably need to call an ambulance for, also. So no, it's, like it's a, a APS. no, it's not. It's okay. the medical, I'll get it. I'll the medical get issue is lack of food. Right, which I'll get this submitted. All right. Okay, Are we all set then. Thank you. Yep. Is there a case number that I can assign to this, Elise? Uh, there is not. Okay, just use your name as a reference. Yep. Okay, what's your mm -hmm. last name? And my, and my last initial is V as in boy. Be as in boy. Okay, uh, we all set that. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Bye now. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye. It is Thursday, September twenty seventh, two thousand eighteen. It's eleven eighteen a.m. Elaine Stoutenberg returned my call, and I didn't catch the call, so I'm calling her back. Hi, you've reached Elaine at Department of Health and Human Services. If you're calling to report allegations of abuse or neglect to children or adults, you must call centralized intake at 855-444-3911. Otherwise, leave me a message knowing I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Please keep in mind, I work Tuesday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 5.30 p.m., Again, I will call you back as soon as I possibly can if you just leave me a message. Thank you and have a great day. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, Ms. Stoutenberg. <clears throat> this is Richard Schwartz in Almont again. It's Thursday, uh, September 27, 2018. It's 1119 a.m. I'm sorry I missed your call. Um, no, I need to speak with you personally, ma'am. This is really important. Please try me back. Um, <clears throat> I'm in, but um, I'll try to pick up your phone as, as if I catch it. 
uh, the number is 810-882-1941. It's very important that I speak with you today. Please call back. Thank you. Bye now. Today is Thursday, September 27, 2018. It's 2.03 p.m. I'm calling Social Security. Thank you for calling Social Security. Para Español, Marque 7. To ensure quality, your call may be monitored or recorded. If you have Medicare, you will receive a new Medicare card between April 2018 and April 2019. The card will display a unique Medicare number instead of your Social Security number. To ensure you receive your new card, Please make sure your address is current by going online to your My Social Security account at www.ssa.gov backslash my account or by speaking to a customer service representative. If you have questions, please call Medicare at 1-800-633-4227. TTY users can call 1-877-486-2048. You can find the Social Security Administration online at www.socialsecurity.gov. Main menu. In a few words, please tell me what you're calling about. You can say things like, update my personal information, or find a Social Security office. So, how can I help you? I need my... 2018 Social Security Benefit Statement. You're calling about your 1099 statement, right? I guess. For, for two... For, okay. For benefit Statement or 1099. Did you know you can view, print, save, or request a copy of your SSA 1099 or SSA 1042S by going online and using your My SSA account? Go to www.socialsecurity.gov and click on My Social Security. Are you calling to get a replacement 1099 for the 2017 tax year? Uh, no. To get a 1099 for a previous year, you'll need to speak with an agent. I'm going to get someone to help you, but first I need to get some information. Social Security is allowed to collect this information under the Social Security Act, and the collection meets the requirements of the Paperwork Reduction Act under OMB number 09600790. The whole process should take about one minute. To hear detailed information about the Privacy Act or Paperwork Reduction Act, say, More Information. Otherwise, say, Continue. Continue. Please note that any person who makes a false representation in an effort to alter or obtain information from the Social Security Administration may be punished by a fine or imprisonment or both. Do you understand and agree to these terms? Yes. All right, thanks. Let's keep going. First, please say your Social Security number one digit at a time. 384-50-5784. Just to make sure, your social security number is 384-50-5784, right? Yes. Thanks. Hold on while I get someone to help you. At the conclusion of your call, we would like you to participate in a short survey and tell us about your experience. If you would like to participate in the survey, please stay on the line after the agent hangs up. Your estimated wait time is 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, Your call yeah, will be answered in the order it was received, or we can call you back in 50 minutes. To receive a call back, say, call back. Otherwise, you can just stay on the line and continue to wait for an agent. <laughs> 45 minutes.
Thank you for holding. Someone will assist you shortly. Please remember to have handy your social security number and any recent mail that we may have sent you. Having this information will help us serve you better. apologize for this delay. If you are calling for general information or are interested in applying for retirement, disability, Medicare, or spouse's benefits, you may want to visit our website www.socialsecurity.gov. There you will find important information about benefits and be able to apply from the comfort of your home or office. that you have waited so long, we are doing our best to answer your call. Social Security provides monthly benefits to more than 50 million yeah, people. As a result, we do have busy periods. We are taking calls in the order in which they came. Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience. We are still assisting other people and will help you as soon as we possibly can. At the conclusion of your call, we would like you to participate in a short survey and tell us about your experience. If you would like to participate in the survey, please stay on the line after the agent hangs up.
Thank you for holding. Someone will assist you shortly. Please remember to have handy your social security number and any recent mail that we may have sent you. Having this information will help us serve you better. We apologize for this delay. If you are calling for general information or are interested in applying for retirement, disability, Medicare, or spouses benefits, you may want to visit our website, www.socialsecurity.gov. There you will find important information about benefits and be able to apply from the comfort of your home or office. regret that you have waited so long. We are doing our best to answer your call. Social Security provides monthly benefits to more than 50 million people. As a result, we do have busy periods. We are taking calls in the order in which they came. Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience. We are still assisting other people and will help you as soon as we possibly can. At the conclusion of your call, we would like you to participate in a short survey and tell us about your experience. If you would like to participate in the survey, please stay on the line after the agent hangs up.
Thank you for holding. Someone will assist you shortly. Please remember to have handy your social security number and any recent mail that we may have sent you. Having this information will help us serve you better. We apologize for this delay. If you are calling for general information or are interested in applying for retirement, disability, Medicare, or spouses benefits, you may want to visit our website, www.socialsecurity.gov. There you will find important information about benefits and be able to apply from the comfort of your home or office. regret that you have waited so long. We are doing our best to answer your call. Social Security provides monthly benefits to more than 50 million people. As a result, we do have busy periods. We are taking calls in the order in which they came. Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience. We are still assisting other people and will help you as soon as we possibly can. At the conclusion of your call, we would like you to participate in a short survey and tell us about your experience. If you would like to participate in the survey, please stay on the line after the agent hangs up.
Thank you for holding. Someone will assist you shortly. Please remember to have handy your social security number and any recent mail that we may have sent you. Having this information will help us serve you better. apologize for this delay. If you are calling for general information or are interested in applying for retirement, disability, Medicare, or spouse's benefits, you may want to visit our website www.socialsecurity.gov. There you will find important information about benefits and be able to apply from the comfort of your home or office. that you have waited so long, we are doing our best to answer your call. Social Security provides monthly benefits to more than 50 million people. As a result, we do have busy periods. We are taking calls in the order in which they came. Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience. We are still assisting other people and will help you as soon as we possibly can. At the conclusion of your call, we would like you to participate in a short survey and tell us about your experience. If you would like to participate in the survey, please stay on the line after the agent hangs up.
Thank you for holding. Someone will assist you shortly. Please remember to have handy your social security number and any recent mail that we may have sent you. Having this information will help us serve you better. We apologize for this delay. If you are calling for general information or are interested in applying for retirement, disability, Medicare, or spouses benefits, you may want to visit our website www.socialsecurity.gov. There you will find important information about benefits and be able to apply from the comfort of your home or office. that you have waited so long we are doing our best to answer your call social security provides monthly benefits to more than 50 million people as a result we do have busy periods we are taking calls in the order in which they came Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience. We are still assisting other people and will help you as soon as we possibly can. At the conclusion of your call, we would like you to participate in a short survey and tell us about your experience. If you would like to participate in the survey, please stay on the line after the agent hangs up.
Thank you for holding. Someone will assist you shortly. Please remember to have handy your social security number and any recent mail that we may have sent you. Having this information will help us serve you better. apologize for this delay. If you are calling for general information or are interested in applying for retirement, disability, Medicare, or spouses benefits, you may want to visit our website www.socialsecurity.gov. There you will find important information about benefits and be able to apply from the comfort of your home or office. that you have waited so long we are doing our best to answer your call social security provides monthly benefits to more than 50 million people as a result we do have busy periods we are taking calls in the order in which they came Thank you for holding. We appreciate your patience. We are still assisting other people and will help you as soon as we possibly can. At the conclusion of your call, we would like you to participate in a short survey and tell us about your experience. If you would like to participate in the survey, please stay on the line after the agent hangs up.
Thank you for holding. Someone will assist you shortly. Please remember to have handy your social security number and any recent mail that we may have sent you. Having this information will help us serve you better. apologize for this delay. If you are calling for general information Hi, Jennifer, um, or are interested in applying I, uh, for retirement... I need to move and I need uh, paperwork from Social Security for about my benefits. And the, <clears throat> the only thing that I've got is my 2017 uh, Social Security benefit statement. I was wondering if I could get... Um, I, I don't have an 18... Or a, a 19 projection, and I was wondering mm -hmm. if I, if if I could get something going back as far as like this 2016. Okay. Yeah, I know we can pull up uh, 2016 or any years prior. Um, we won't have the 2019 oh. projections until late October, early November. Uh, as soon as we find out if there's a cost of living adjustment. Yeah, well, it's, I don't exact, exactly uh, know yeah, they what I need. Data today showing um, how much I got to do something right real quick uh, we because my house is really, uh, it's uninhabitable. And um, so I and I, I don't, the, I tried to dig up any of my paperwork and the only thing I could find is 2017. So um, anything that you could send me would be perfect. Okay. Can I get your name? Yes, it's Richard Schwartz, okay. S C H W A R T Z. Can I get your name? It's Richard A. Sh A Richard A. Schwartz, is according to your files. And can I get your? Uh, can I get? Eleven seventeen fifty one. Oh, okay. And can I get your uh, date Detroit, of birth? Detroit, Michigan. In the city and state where you were born? Mikowski. And what's your current mail address? Okay. And your uh, 104 Aberdeen Lane. And that's Almont, okay. Michigan. And what's your current mailing 48003. The problem I have with that is I don't know if you're getting... if uh, I, I'm having problems because I'm disabled. Um, I'm not getting my mail. And they're sending my mail back, and I was wondering, do, do you still see that as an active address? Have you have you had any? Have you ever had any mail returned? Does it uh, show it anything? Because I'm having like my uh, like my credit cards and that um, they're returning sure they're, they're returning my statements, and then they close my card out, and it's all I've got all kinds of problems. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I just want to make sure if you send me yeah, something that it's not going to you know, let me know if the security letters got returned. Uh, or if we No, no, I just got to make sure that you're mm -hmm. sending it and it's yeah. not being so returned. It's necessary. So is there uh, an alternative address see. you would want this letter to go to? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's so there's, a big there's problem. No way for I, me to tell if it's going to I'm disabled. I, I can't um, get it to my doctor. The they office. want Have you doctor's to there uh, records, and it, and they won't deliver to my house until I have proof that I from a doctor. So I mean, like in a. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I have internet uh, uh, alternate, or I have do. internet, uh, and I don't have a printer. Do you have access to the internet where you're at? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I would say, um, let's print out a letter just in case we're still getting delivered to you. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I would say, um, let's print out a letter just in case it still gets delivered to you. Yeah, and, I can't. Uh, I, I, I'm disabled. I don't have I transportation. And I'm basically, I'm un in, in a house that's uh, uninhabitable. Um, I um, and I got to do something real quick. You know, I also, I was wondering if this is something that you might be able to check on. I, I had, so, I mm -hmm. had uh, DHHS, uh, Department of Health and Human Services, offer me Medicare Part D for a period of time in 2017 and then they for some reason they said that I didn't qualify because I didn't send paperwork back in time so they they actually took like two hundred and thirty seven dollars out of my June 2017 um, Social Security payment and I talked to Medicare and they said they were going to investigate but that was like a couple weeks ago and I was wondering if you could see if you saw anything that there was an investigation or is that something separate? Uh, it might be something separate. Um, well, no, I, I guess what I'm questioning is they did it all wrong. Know, DHHS like uh, 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 screwed it all up. And and then well, for some reason, you know, they gave me a benefit, and then they, then they made me pay back it out of my own money, out of my Social mm -hmm. Security, which is, which for, according to my record, my research, that's fraud. Yeah, uh, let me check your record to see what all happened. Okay. Yeah, uh, let me check your record to see what all happened. Okay, and I'm just waiting on the computer. It should be just a minute. I know the feeling. <laughs> All right, and I'm just waiting on the computer. It should be just a minute.
Uh, okay, I found a little bit more information. Uh, so it looks like when you first got approved for your Medicare coverage in, uh, I guess that would have been September 2016, um, that we're going to start taking out Medicare premiums from your payments. And they ended up taking it out uh, of your first month, November 2016. Mm -hmm. But then later in November, you got approved mm -hmm. uh, for this QMB program or Medicare savings program. And that's where they help cover the cost. So I saw there was just one uh, reimbursement or refund uh, later in November uh, for that first month that they shouldn't have taken it out. And they were paying for it all the way through the end of April, but they didn't update your records of Social Security until late May. And that's when they took out I, two months' worth for May and so June. The thing um, is, I, I don't have transportation. I out. never signed up for Medicare. So I can't like use it because I don't have mm -hmm. transportation. I told them I, that, and I never wanted it. I never chose a provider. And this has been taken out of my out of my check against my against my wishes, and I haven't had uh, I haven't had a phone to use. I haven't had any way of contacting anybody. I'm disabled, and I've been relying on a, a DHHS and Adult Protective Services to help me. And instead, they screwed it all up, and I got I got shorted. How can they take back a, a two hundred thirty-seven dollars and out of my check? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I guess when it first started. I, I, I told um, them. November, I said I, I did you told them. Send out any I don't. Kind of letters saying I, you didn't I, want it, or D did you have DHA, any type of appeal? DHHS. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and um, okay, and so I I've people, tried getting DHA, a hold of Social Security on your website, uh -huh. and I was having problems on the website. Your website wouldn't wouldn't. Uh, I couldn't get on it, and I even showed that to the Adult Protective Services guy when he came to my house, and I video recorded it, and I tell him, you know, I don't know what's going on. I I had no idea what was happening. I never had time to even think about uh, Medicare because I was having I was having problems with my house, and that's when they just signed me up for that for that program against my will I never chose a provider and I've been paying for for services for two years that I haven't used one time and every time that I every time that I've asked DHHS to explain what was going on they wouldn't tell me and that's why okay. that's why it, I from what I understand that's that's Medicare fraud is that am I right or okay Okay, so there's a couple of things you can do. Um, if you want to turn down that Medicare and terminate that coverage, if you can't go into the Social Security office or can't call them directly, they just need something in writing from you that you could mail back to Social Security saying you do not want that coverage. Also, that you did not sign up for that coverage. No, ma'am, that's the problem. I I keep I guess, getting were you not able to I keep getting my mail, mail uh, going on returned. In from I'm disabled. I live in a mobile home park that I can't walk to the the community house, and um, then my mail keeps getting returned. It, my mailbox gets full. My my mail gets returned to everybody that I'm that that sends me mail, and I can't I can't get a doctor's uh, a doctor's statement for the post office stating that I'm disabled because I can't get to my doctors. That's why I, you you haven't seen, if you take a look at my, my medical records, uh, before that time I was seeing the doctor once a month and when I lost my transportation in, in um, the, the fall, I wasn't able to use, I wasn't able to access my doctors. That's why I never chose Medicare. I had no, I had no way to get to it and, and DHHS signed me up for, without my permission. And then every every time I tried to address them, they wouldn't answer. They wouldn't tell me what was going on. And then I found out later when they mm -hmm. hit me, 
that that they did that illegally. They took out two hundred and thirty seven dollars that I needed to fix my roof, and then they de- then they denied that. And then I've had the adult protective services guy in my house, and I was trying to show him everything, and he wouldn't explain it. And I'm being abused by by DHHS and adult protective services. That's why if there's any way, man, that I could get some help, it would really I'd really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're you're able to get some help, but the main thing they need before they can give you a refund, before they can stop that coverage, they need something in writing from you saying you do not want this coverage or that you were signed up against your will, basically. So are you I able can't to get it. I can't get anywhere. send That's a handwritten the request to terminate this you, Medicare you to one of your Social Security offices through the mail? No, I can't. Ma'am, I'm I'm absolutely incapacitated in my mobile Oh, not to go in. Are you able and, to, to um, mail a I'm, letter I'm to us? I'm being left to die. Um, I, I can't get any help whatsoever. DHHS is, is out of business. I mean, uh, I've called uh, 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 the Adult Protective Services. I've called their hotline. I have no food. I have no running water. They destroyed my house. They installed a water heater that that uh, caused fifteen thousand dollars worth of damage, and now they've they're leaving me homeless. This is this is it's like a uh, an a, a uh, intentional assault on on making me homeless. And uh, I mean, I've been on the phone all day with trying to get food and water. And and that's this is just one one issue that they've done. They've they've done all kinds of horrible things to me, that uh, I I need to get resolved. I I want to. I'm trying to file a criminal complaint, but no one will. I I even went to the state police, and um, and the the Almont police trying to uh, file a, a a report for social security fraud. No one will even listen to me. They're just ignoring me. And no, they what they did is they I I I had a guy coming out a, a, a guy to fix my roof. My roof was leaking, and they were supposed to come out in May, and I needed that 237 to fix to fix my roof, and I and uh, they took it out. They wouldn't. They they refused to not take it out, and um, I didn't get my roof fixed, and then they went and told. This Michigan State Police that they did fix my roof. They said they said they fixed my water heater that they installed, and they did neither one of them. Um, I I I'm trying to get anybody to realize that the state police, the the DHHS lied to the state police, and Adult Protective Services lied to the Elmont police, but nobody cares because it's I'm I'm an expendable, and what they're doing is basically murdering me. None, no, none of these, none of their departments or institutions work. They, they're telling me to call the the Adult Protective Services hotline, emergency hotline. I called it, and then some woman from Adult Protective Services uh, wrote in her, their notes that I'm in no critical danger because I have a grocery store right across the street, which is a lie. And I'm trying to get a hold of that woman. She won't return my phone calls. The, uh, in in my particular area, the 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 government Lapeer County's uh, completely collapsed, and in the meantime, they're just letting me die, die of starvation and die of thirst. Okay, so is DHHS still in Okay, so is DHS the same place right. or DHS? They've done absolutely the nothing. Food stamp? They, uh, they gave me, in the two years that I applied for services, they gave me $330 in food stamps, and they and they did over $15,000 with the damage to my house that made it uninhabitable. I, and I have, I'm disabled. I have no place to go. I have... Uh, I I can't even walk. If my my house is a fire hazard, 
it's it's uh, the floors are all caved in i have i have supposedly i have dependent uh dis disability rights i'm i'm disabled and i'm i i'm entitled to a safe uh living environment and uh, they're just letting me die and i i call i call my local police i i have there's a uh it's called a Michigan Model Vulnerable Adult Protocol, and it, uh, it describes that I'm I'm a victim of uh, torture, and I'm supposed to call the uh, my local police, and I so I call the police, and they're saying, well, you understand, there's nothing I can do because um, you have to contact DHHS. We have nothing, no control over DHHS. <laughs> And they're the they're the rapists, so they're saying, well, you got to go to the rapists and try to try to work with them, and they're nobody's doing it. They uh, uh, he told me that he, he told me to call the, the police officer in Almont told me to call the lady from DHHS. I called the lady for like three days, and then she finally called, and she he told me that this lady would help me fix my house. And when I I called this woman left messages, or I called and left messages, and uh, she called me back and left a message that I got to call Dave Dyer. He's the uh, the regional guy, the head man at D at Adult Protective Services, and he'll help me out. So then I called him, and he's going, I don't know what you're talking about. I you got to call this number. I go, what number? He said he gave me the name same number that I called for ten days over and over again and nobody's calling me back and I argued with him for an hour and a half and fa finally said there's nothing I can do for you so there's no investigation I just called again t today and they, they I, somebody told me that that they took all my information they said that they would contact me immediately and um, I, I haven't heard from them and this is the, this is the, the, the this has gone. This is the the second time. This one I called uh, ten days ago, and this is their emergency number. So then I called the police today, and I told them I don't have food, I don't have water, and I don't have toilet paper, I don't have cat food, and they they told me they said they'll bring me some some food and cat food, uh, and I haven't heard from them. They'll probably show up. I don't know, but it's it's not a it's not a long term fix. They're basically I'm living in a house that's uninhabitable due to what DHHS did. They sent in a, a gang of thugs that destroyed my house, and it, it, it put in a water heater that failed twice within the, the first six months because it was done incorrectly, and and um, they they were going out of business at the same time because of uh, they were bad a bad reputation and then then when when the, my water heater failed they just said there's nothing we can do for you and uh there was nobody i could sue they were telling me that the the, the adult protective services guy told me that i could sue the state i've been trying to sue the state since november i've been without water in my home since november and i'm disabled can you believe can, Yes, ma'am. Okay, I tried there's everything. A I, there's only that two agencies. Have, um, I tried them both. Have you already? Thought, I, I've, uh, like, legal advice I went to my I, I went to my state legislators town hall meeting because we got bad. There's the we've got a bad agency in Lapeer County that's that's uh, doing this to people, and uh, I tried to get my issues resolved, and he had the police called on me, and had me thrown out of his his meeting he told me that i got to go to the proper agencies i told him i've been i've been going to him he said well, that's not my problem you're just he said you're the problem you 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 refuse to do what what you have to do that was that was that was that was, no that was a, no ma'am that was in august okay. uh, how long i went ago to the state i went to the state police and filed a police so report like the on 717 i originally went to i went i originally okay. filed complaints um in january when the when they when dhhs 
and Adult Protective Services, I contacted them in November and I said, your water heater leaked again and uh, I, I have no way of fixing it. Send your man out again and uh, I, you caused a lot of damage to my house. And they, they ignored me. So I went and I, I filed a Freedom of Information request for their files and uh, in December they they ignored me for they've ignored me ever since i've requested uh mm -hmm. over and over uh and i've i've made a request to um the state legislator that made a complaint to, to my legislator to my senator to the civil department of civil rights they're just ignoring i have a freedom of in, information i'm trying to pr act as my own attorney to protect myself and I want their files and they refuse to give them to me and um, then I, 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 I tried to make a complaint and the state police um, had it since since January and the first thing he wanted to do was come to my home and come just come into my home and I told him I said you know you're welcome to my home but I want witnesses and a camera and he refused to do it and uh so then he uh, then i i kept bugging him and so he he said that he he investigated the case and uh he contacted uh, D, uh DHHS in may and they said they fixed my water heater and my roof so he said so the case is closed so that's when i that was in may so then I got I got so frustrated I went right into the state police department post in in uh, Lapeer and I spent like two hours trying to give a report and um, they told me they said that they would take the report and take it to the the prosecutor but it could take up to six months and don't bother anybody don't call anybody they're on the on the case and uh, but um, nothing, nothing was going on. So when the, my state legislator said to call the prosecuting attorney, I called the prosecuting attorney, and they couldn't even find the case. And so then I, he said, well, you better call the, the state police back. So I called the state police back, and that was on a holiday. And they said, well, I can't get a hold of them till the next, till the next day or like a Tuesday. So they, they called me back, and they said, um yeah we checked with the prosecutor and the prosecutor said there's no there's no crime committed so uh case is closed and i said well how could that be when when uh they lied to the state police and uh and they said well there's no crime committed and there's nothing we can do and uh so the case is closed so I, then i i called the prosecutor and they and i thought i could maybe open this up again and i i called the elmont police to, and to try to get them to open this case up because they didn't they they didn't have the proper information they and i'm a victim of felony torture that they refused to look at and so the elmont police called the adult protective services agent and the sir, the, he told told the Elmont police they lied to the Elmont police and said, "Oh, I thought that his water heater was fixed." So the Elmont police said, "Well, there's not there's nothing we can do." Okay, but I mean, do you see? Well, do, you, guess, do you see what you see? And, what my situation let's is, ma'am? Let's try and get back to like what we can do for you over the phone today. Um, yeah. So as far as that letter goes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So as far as that letter goes, okay. um, like I said, we can try sending that out just in case the post office does deliver it. So you'll have that information it, well, with you. Well, let and me ask you, is, include, my, my um, question is, is, is did they do wrong? Or if the state helps pay for that in the future, even though you're running insurance camp. When did they, when did, when did well, they, they do it Well, they didn't do wrong because they tried I, I, to notify you. I never before the Medicare started. Yeah, but when I never I never Medicare got started. it, and I told him I didn't want it. Before the Medicare, I'm telling you. That's the there. problem. They I they they forced it on me. I didn't want it, and and then they then I I told him I couldn't use it. That's why I told 
uh, DHHS and, and then I told the Adult Protective Services. No one would listen to me. They did it on purpose. Okay, yeah, so the, the only person or the only agency that can enroll you and terminate that Medicare coverage is going to be Social Security. And before they can do anything, somehow, some way, they need to get something in writing. They can't do it over the phone. I know, they can't and that's do why it over the I conversation. That, they need that, something in writing what, before they can make any kind of changes on your record for benefits or even start that refund. So in the meantime, we can, we can send a message over to that office to let them know that you can't office? go in, to let which, them know that you may office, not be yeah. receiving your mail, is, to let is them there know any that way you I can get don't currently have a phone where they can the, even call you all back. The, all the money that was you know stolen from me. Is? The Social Security office? I would rather, I would rather uh, yeah. Yeah, to be you honest, get some back pay, but you don't know the situation, but I, I, I begged those people for help and they just ignored me and I told them that, and you don't know this, but that's that's the case and i if they sent me paperwork i didn't get it because i'm losing all my mail they didn't they have not tried to help me whatsoever and that's why if there's any way i can file any any co complaint i i that's what i'd like to do is there any way of doing that you, you can but in order to file a complaint they need that in writing too okay well i okay um, you, you can, but in order to file a complaint, they need that in writing, too. They can't just take it which, over the phone or on the Internet. Before they can start anything at Social Security, they need all this information Can I in send writing, it by email? Even if it's just a request to terminate the Medicare and work on the work on the refund later, they need something in writing. We can't send it by email. They need, like, your signature, your date. Um, um, they need all that information in your own words in writing. So, yeah, in the meantime, we can send a message over to that office closest to you to let them know your circumstances, to let them know you can't physically go in or call or uh, whatever the case is. Well, the thing is, the th my, my, my problem is, if is you don't have a number they can call uh, you at or a place where they can send these letters to. The mail is, they, what they do thing. is they, they send mail and then when my mailbox gets full, then they, then they send it back. And I just, I can't get up to it. I'm just, I, I'm really stuck. I, I don't. What's that? Uh, have you requested that they hold your mail? I have mail no way of getting to the post office. That's the problem. I'm stuck in a tin can that, that I can't get out of. I can't. Office? I'm using somebody else's phone, and um, it's get, and I'm living in a house that's that's almost uninhabitable, and I'm trying to get all these things done at the same time. And in the in the meantime, DHHS and Adult Protective Services have abandoned me. Okay. So the, there is no social security so the person that you're using the phone for, can they drop something off here on, I think. at your social security office in writing? Yeah, they, yeah I, okay. I have, uh, ma'am, so I, I have nobody. Code, I'm on my own. I, I, uh, I borrow but it doesn't a matter which social uh, security office gets phone, this and I, I, I can't keep asking people to help me. I need I need to, I need help I need help and and inst instead of inst okay well if you call uh, I can give you a number so and if, what if, if they if they call it the phone, I can get can that that, that call and number? as soon as I can get as soon as they call me I'll uh, they'll tell me that and, and let me use a phone okay. so I because what I've got is I've got a it's a Okay. No, I don't want to. I, ma'am, I don't uh, want to go through anybody else. I'm trying to get this done to with your, myself. I, place, my biggest problem is I have a job place. offer. I have a, a, a an opportunity to move to a warm climate and and a chance to survive. <laughs> and instead, I'm caught in Lapeer County. That's 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 uh, jerking me around. They, instead of allowing me to work to survive, they got me. They got me stuck in this mobile home until I die, and it it's just a nightmare. 
I, I've tried everything humanly possible to to act as my own attorney. They just ignore me. They uh, they've done they've done horrible things to me. They they left they left me without water since November, and and uh, I'm a vi I'm a, fi a victim of felony torture that no one no one will respond to. It's easier to let me die, because and I've asked. Be, be, Okay. Well, let's, let's at least get uh, this Medicare eight, and this refund eight taken one care zero, of. Eight one zero eight eight two. What telephone number do you want to leave with your neighbor for them to try and get in touch with you with again? I don't want to give that. It's, ma'am. It's 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 a uh, it's it's a Skype phone, okay. and, and it's a, it's a computer phone. phone. My problem is my computer. The the um, the audio blew out. So. What happens is if you call that number, I see it, but I can't call it, call you back. So then I go get my neighbors. But I, no, just okay. no, just yeah, leave so a message okay, and, but, um, I'll, and I'll and no I'll I will call you back because they don't know I, who I can calling, see it. I just can't call you back until I get the They may not leave a message when they call you back. And just. Uh, well, I'm I'm in, incarcerated in my home, so it's just okay. any time as and soon as possible. Are there possible, good times to reach you during the day, or good days to call? Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and send that message. Let's go into the office on Robert T. Longley. Is there is there any okay. way is there any way so, that? Oh yeah. Let me um, go ahead and send that message, uh, and this is going to the send office it to on, Fort here on Robert T. Longley. That's a little less congested. No, it's a little less congested. If I, if there's any for any reason that I have to go there, then I'd, I'd rather oh, go there Port than Huron. Flint. Oh, it's Port Huron. It's a Port Huron. P O R T H U R O N. Okay, can you spell that for me? I believe so. Okay, is this the one on Craft Road? Um, yeah, sure. Okay. And uh, even though they're going to be calling you, do you want yes, their telephone number? Okay. So their number is Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so their number is 877 895 And 0042 yeah. Normally they're okay. open nine to four Monday uh, through Friday, and Wednesdays okay. they're open and then, nine o'clock. And then, ma'am, you're going to send all that paperwork for the, my my. Uh, yeah, I, I basically years. have to move on to the next call, but that's what we'll be okay. taking care of today. Oh. Yeah, I guess even though you can't receive the mail, if it's still getting to you, then. Well, it might get to me if I can get. Say, what they do is when my box hits. Too yeah, full, then they take it back. But I, mail, it's, I try to get up there, okay. is, and I send people, but it's just a big pain in the butt, and uh, I'm fighting one battle after another. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry that it's, I got so many problems, but it's, I'm, I refuse to die, and mm -hmm. it's, it's really tough right now. But, but what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I forgot your name, ma'am. Yeah, I understand. Um, so we'll try and do, do you have a, we can a, a number over the phone or a, in the meantime. A, a, a employee number or something I can re oh, reference? Oh, uh, my name is Jennifer. Oh, uh, yes, my number is uh, 615. 615. And I'm in the Dallas, Texas call center. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yes, my number Probably is Probably a little warmer uh, than it is in Michigan. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm in the Dallas, Texas call center. Okay, so, okay I really appreciate your time, uh, Jennifer, uh, any help mm -hmm. that you yeah. can give me? But yeah, I, I have really to move on to the next it. call, unfortunately. All right, that's good. And, uh, yeah, thank you for calling. Let us know. Okay. Right okay, thank you. Okay, all right, that's good. You too, bye and, now. Uh, yeah, thank you for calling to let us know. And we'll send that letter right out. Okay, and have a good day. Great, bye bye. It's Thursday, September 27, 2018. It's 4.41 p.m. <clears throat> and I'm calling Elaine Stoutenberg.